Okay, the 90 Theoban XW90 gas ram. Let's rag it to bits. Now, this one's in for refinish. Not decided black, you know, Cerakote yet. So, everything's got to come to bits. As a rule, I'd take the barrel pin out and I'd leave this pin in. Uh, and keep the cocking um, on the gun but uh, it's got to come out so I've got a roll pin punch can we get zero yeah cool it's got a little ball in the end because this isn't flat so I don't want to smack it and go for a wander up the receiver so you can either use ball pin punch well that one's a tapered punch that's rounded off on the end a little bit rather than flat so a decent hammer at this point you've got to give it a fairly decent whack or it's not coming out and I can just lightly tap that out and throw it at the cap and put that to one side in fact what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to get a box I've already took that off so I've cheated a bit it's a trigger guard um, with a safety system in it just take the two screws out and uh, I'll strip that but I'm not going to show you how to strip that until I strip it because that would be impossible wouldn't it so once that pins out, you can just tease that back a little bit. Depending on what model you've got, you'll have a little cocking shoe on the end of it. Fits in like so. Don't lose that. And remember which way it goes on. Yeah. Remove. Barrel. I've turned it over because the right hand screw head, that's not the bolt. The bolt goes left to right. So it doesn't matter how many times you try and tighten that if you've got a loose barrel on one of these or any of the HWs for that matter um, that's not going to tighten your barrel all it's going to do is, is lock against the thread on the bolt so if you've got a loose barrel or you're replacing the shins you tighten the bolt on the left now you need a decent quality parallel screwdriver on this uh, because if you don't use one and they can be tight trust me if you don't use one if you use just a cheap little screwdriver or something the chances are that you're going to damage um, this what I'm going to call a nut or, or worse you're going to go for a walk down your compression tube behind that you will have um, a split washer which they can be an arse to get out uh, but they come out when you set the other side off anyway so I'm now going to quickly turn the whole unit over we're going to soft your vice now soft your vice is on the be all and end all of not scratching things because it was drilling alley uh, this afternoon and Ali's not so bad but if you've been drilling steel it can get trapped in your soft jaws and and damage so I've cleaned it and blown it off so once you've undone that bolt two or three turns just good 
tip is to cock the gun because your, your detent plunger is now not forcing your barrel that way so you, you've no pressure on that at all now at which point provided everything's all right that should be finger tight I'm just going to pop a magnet on a punch go on the other side I'm just going to draw out my split washer so from here undo and behind this um, bolt or on this bolt you'll have another split washer and when you slide your barrel out you should have two very thin um, pieces of shim steel yeah don't lose them and for the cost buy new ones I'm now going to get my split washer and I'm going to put it back on the barrel bolt and put the nut back on cut the threads storage now then it's a gas ram folks so it's under pressure hang on it's a gas ramp folks it's under pressure okay we can tap you now if I can suss out how to do it which I don't think I can if we can take you into a little bit closer <laughs> This is the business end now. I've got focus there. So this little bolt here, or screw, whatever you want to call it, we can safely take that out. The world's not going to end. There should be nothing incriminating or deadly behind that. Quality screwdrivers, folks. That's going to be tight. No, we're not so bad. Slowly going to take that out. Now what I noticed then, and what you won't notice, is there's a tiny little puff of air. There's a seal on that. On that nut. There was a tiny little puff of air when I took that off. Um, <clears throat> that's a bolt, not a nut. That, that can indicate that the valve inside here is just very likely or slightly leaking so this one may need a new valve I'm now going to get a punch this is like a it's a shredder valve but it's the same as on a push bike and I'm going to get a very small hammer and I'm going to put my punch in there onto the end of the valve and just tap it only lightly one, two, three, there we go, I've let this one out and now I can push it in, get you back on focus, there you go, and pushing that valve in now, we have no air in the gas ram, which is good yes, so it's what I would call now safe, so the next job, focus, focus, here we go, We've got another bolt here that um, on this the open HW90 is 2.5 mil hex once again these can be tight but what that bolt is basically doing there's nothing sinister again behind it but it's passing through focus your pig it's passing through the rear cylinder cap pin so unless you take that out you can whack a day all along on this and uh, it ain't gonna move they shouldn't be ridiculously tight those pins on the back of that because like I say unlike a spring gun they're not holding anything back
and if you put your punch inside your piston track you can now extract serviceable part this needs cleaning and correctly lubricating it's now a case of removing the trigger unit now the trigger unit on this gun is a what I'd like to call it a cassette type so I can lightly tap out and put me on over the back and remove the pen uh, left to right, right to left, it's not crimped on either end uh, which suggests that it will go in and come out whichever way you want it to go in and come out and then I will take a large flat punch and gently on the front top of what I call the cassette you're not going to be able to take your piston out while your trigger unit's still in um, it's impossible, can't be done when you take your trigger out, I'm going to stop there and I'm going to try, and, there you go this is a spring, don't lose it push your sear up you can now see all the gubbins inside yeah, if you're going to strip one of these brake cleaner, um, compressed air, clean it off um, and make it immaculate before you put it back in but if you're going to strip it don't lose any of the bits because they are very very hard to get hold of nowadays so that's the trigger cassette out at which point um, <clears throat> if I wasn't filming I would just remove this from the vice now I'm just going to find somewhere I can get a little tiny bit of leverage and out will come this huge heavy body of the ram okay as you can see very dirty gun on the inside uh, but trust me I've seen a lot worse now because it's Sunday and I've obviously got to go to church in half an hour I decided to give it all a wipe because it was minging um, but, but you can see from, from here sort of the principle of a gas ram um, as in th this is held at the back of your cylinder uh, this is where your trigger sear catches all of your piston this is your cocking track so it's very similar until you get to here uh, to a spring power gun this is your this is your ram so with oils and with compressed air replacing um, what would be that god that's bent as a dog's back leg typical air arms bin. so in effect uh, that's held your cocking arm come into here you cock the gun you see it will catch here and hold it at which point there's, there's quite a lot of pressure in there now and when you press the trigger fung out it comes I believe the idea came from a might be wrong, the motorcycle rear suspension um, I think one of the chaps saw that, that's what I was told and invented that clever sod now inside this great hunk of motorcycle rear suspension let me turn it round let's wait for this stupid camera to focus you've two seals this is just a, a piece of stainless bar 
that I've rotated on a grinder just for getting internal seals out and then the other side is a hook first one we take the plastic shim out so we seal shim second one is just a seal keep them safe but they are available so what you've now got inside um, is a piston head this um, try not to push that back into the into the piston body because basically it's a billet of steel with two o-rings on it um, maybe cheating there's probably easier ways of doing it out there but this is where you need <coughs> access to not a lot of but some compressed air and you've got to be a little bit careful how you do it there's a hole right there that's going straight through that piston head and into the chamber here uh, I'm going to get I'm going to get an air blower uh, which has an extended end on it now I'm, I'm not going to stick that in there that compressed air and point the piston towards me and plop compressed air in there because it's probably going to set my ugly head off so I'm going to very gently squeeze a small amount of air in there at which point out pops the weasel um, that's it there's nothing else in there is it amputy so I have heard folk ask about stripping 90s in the past I think I've seen some videos on it but it's a bank holiday today so I just fancied doing a couple of videos I'm not putting it back together today uh, because I've got to restore the gun first it's getting screw cut uh, possibly Cerakote or re-blacked cleaned up the stock's getting refurbished it's a lovely early gun yeah the piston this is the bit just same as the springer wah boom that, that, that shoots down your cylinder uh, will it benefit from gliding maybe a polish certainly wouldn't lighten it and uh, trust me that'll be hard steel the uh, the lubrication and, and the, the use of the, the pump to get this back to pressure and then the rebuild um, I'll go into that when I've when I've restored the thing so I, I, I hope you have found that useful if you decide to strip your trigger unit and I'm anchoring for a, for a a glass of wine now because I'm bored shitless for today if you do decide to strip this don't lose the gubbins in here because you'll be grumpy because you, you can't buy them as far as I'm aware nobody's got them so strip away but don't take your clothes off have a wonderful evening goodbye